How is it that you have cats called Israeli in the Middle East right now that are light skinned? It doesn't make sense, bro. Especially when the fact that oh, you, you go back and you look at the story of Moses. So Moses, um, he's the lineage of Jesus. All right. He's like the great, great grandfather. But Moses grew up in Egypt. He grew up under the Pharaoh. He was the Pharaoh's son. That's right. Let That's my right. people go. That's right. But his people were the Jews, the slaves. So was Moses white? But how could he pass as the son of the Pharaoh of an African country? Where we know scientifically the equator only breeds dark people. Yeah, for sure. Right? And you're right there, dog. And Israel's in the Middle East. Is there any other Middle Eastern country you know that the people at mass that were naturally born there are light-skinned? I don't think that the Saudis, no, right? Nope. No, 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 they're no, all, no, yeah, no, it's like, no, no, no. And check this out, I can have somebody that migrates, but I'm talking about the people from the dirt, from the Yeah, soil, the originals. Right, okay. So when you're, when you're born in, in Iceland, there's no sun, so you lack vitamin D. You need to take supplements, right? So you become light-skinned because vitamin D uh, gives pigmentation. Right. Right? So the closer you are to the sun, the equator, which is the highest point of the earth, the closer to the sun, you get all that sun comes down, that vitamin D comes down, those UVs, and they, they give you pigmentation. So you will always be darker. That's why even Indian people are dark. Well, I mean, the, the majority, if not all the the people who came in from the after the after World War II and all that, they all immigrated from, like, Poland, Germany, 